Learning multiplication facts is something that we do at St. Francis from kindergarten. And we start off looking at uh, groups of. So as you can see here, I have got three groups of four. Now in year one and kindy and even year two, we don't necessarily always write our multiplication facts out like that. We might just write three groups of four in that way. And this is a great way to start representing our multiplication. However, we can start to use these facts in a different way called arrays. Now an array is instead of organizing our counters into groups, we organize them into rows. So I've got my array, which is three rows of four. But the beautiful thing about an array is that I can just rotate that and now I've got four rows of three. So I'm seeing both examples of multiplication. I've got four times three and I have got three times four. Another great way to use an array is to partition that up and we could say, all right, well, I've also got two rows of six. So obviously our answer here is 12. The next step when using arrays is to use a partial array. So if your child is very, very good at building arrays, you might want to challenge them by doing a partial array. And a partial array is when we get rid of these counters. So now I have got my three rows of four and your child will have to try and um, visualize the counters that are not missing to try and work out this multiplication fact. The next step is to do an abstract array and that is when we will take away all of the counters and just say to your child, okay, I've got three rows of four, let's visualize that the counters are in my box. Can you see what they look like? You might have to draw them in to get them started, but then you can easily just erase them to get them on their way. Now, the wonderful thing about multiplication facts is that every time you learn a new fact, it is important to share that new fact. So today we've just learned that three times four equals 12. We also learned that four times three equals 12. So the next step is to always recall that fact that you've just learned. Let's tell our brothers and sisters, let's call up Nan and Pop. Let's write it down on a big piece of paper and stick it on the fridge. Three times four equals 12. And then any time that we have to recall that fact, we can go, oh, I remember looking at that fact. That's on our fridge. Let's go check it out. Or ask your child three times four. Let's visualize. What does that look like? I can see four rows of three. Can you see that? No? Okay, let's try and build our array. Maybe we don't need to use all of the counters.